Hello everyone, good morning. Hi, how have you been? Hope everyone's doing well. We're going to do a collective reading for the daily today that is based upon no contact. Why isn't your person contacting you? What is going on with them? So we're gonna do three shuffles. One, two, uh, cards are always popping out here. That popped out. You're really good on your own. Okay. We're going to do three shuffles for no contact. Okay. Okay. Three. That was three more. Okay. So here we go. So let's cut the cards and look at the bottom of the deck for no contact for the collective. Justice card. Good. Balance. I like balance. So one of the reasons that you haven't had a call is your person is trying to re achieve some sort of balance the situation three of swords is your obstacle here okay your challenge here is the three of swords so you may be competing with somebody else you might be in a third party situation and or the third party situation can always be another job a complicated life taking care of a parent being overly obligated to an ex-wife uh, having a lot of responsibilities, but oftentimes it's another person, okay? We are getting that they feel a sense of stability at this time. They're seeking stability, and for whatever reason, they did not see you as a person with whom they could necessarily have that. Queen of Pentacles, though, is very stable, so it's interesting. We'll have to clarify what that means. What is bringing you to the readings is you want to move forward more quickly. Eight of Wands. You want some passion. You want some fun. In the recent past, you've had contact with this person. For the people I'm reading for, for the collective for whom I am reading, you felt that this was your person. This was the person you were going to spend your life with. The Three of Wands energy. Very much the feeling of being joyful, having really thoroughly enjoying your person. They enjoy you. Tiki torches, starry nights, adventure, wild rides on a surfboard. <laughs> Lots of passion expressed. Okay. What's the best that can be achieved at this time? The sun card. Good. That is a card that speaks to manifestation of a phone call. Because if somebody had that much fun with you, do you really think that they're not going to ever contact you again? I don't think so. The Queen of Wands energy there may be, when we look at the two queens, now we have a queen. I'm going to give you the table shot shortly, okay? But we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands energy. So it does show that right now you may have some competition. Your person may be um, talking to someone else, spending time with someone else. So that would be one of the obvious reasons for no contact. Wheel of Fortune though, Destiny, the Wheel of Destiny turns in your favor. The Six of Cups, you will have a reunion. Interestingly enough, your person likes you because they feel that you're more stable than the Queen of Wands energy. You're less, ah, and here's the King of Pentacles. So the best that can be achieved right now, what your person really wants is to have you in their life, the King and Queen of Pentacles. Not an accident there. So it's sort of almost as though your person is... They want this fun button pushed, which means they could be on vacation, anything like that. Um, you'll know who you are. Okay, the Ten of Wands. So they give up at the ghost on no contact. I like it. I always like the Ten of Wands. The person is burdened by no contact. There is a sense of feeling guilty about no contact. They feel as though they left in the dark of the night and didn't tell you, and they feel guilty about it, as they should. You know, everybody deserves to have a fully disclosed and operational love relationship. All right, so now we're going to look at the El Goliath deck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see what is going on within their psyche that is also making them behave in this sort of unreliable way to you. They definitely feel as though you're the person they should be with. But it does look like there's some sort of flingy thing going on with somebody else, okay? I don't think it lasts, but we will see. All right. All right, so the first card in terms of, ah, they want to heal the relationship, the shaman. 
Isn't that gorgeous? That's such a beautiful card. Look at that sexy shaman. So your person's going to come back and they want to heal the relationship, okay? So their shadow side already knows that. They know that that's where they're going to go. Five of Swords, they absolutely know that they have been unfair to you. It's been a Davy and Goliath kind of a situation. Five of Swords is when somebody is not nice. Not nice, not nice. The big black scorpion ready to sting the little white one so badly could be the reverse colors i mean it doesn't mean anything but darkness over light spiritually speaking the sacred fire the rebirthing bonfire that is a desire to come back home home is where the heart is home is where the hearth is you know they want to you might have spent a lot of time in front of a a fireplace or you know would really say a lot to me about how much your person has shared with you about their inner workings areas of their life that they need to heal nine of cups in the past you were always their laughter their joy their the party in life was always you the place they were the happiest was always you okay nine of cups eat drink be merry a lot of socializing a lot of socializing publicly the three of swords up yep, the shadow side their heart they look like they're almost not able to love as well as they want to love. The Three of Swords says that they like lock their heart in a cage. And when they feel like they're going to fall in love, they have a tendency to go into a third party situation. Wow, that's pretty tough stuff, kids. That's dark. It's difficult for you, especially. All right. I like the fact, though, that this person has the awareness that they're doing this. They are with the shaman card trying to do healing work for themselves. They also feel as if they owe you an apology and they need to make things right with you. Okay. Six of Pentacles. They are very drawn in by the idea of equal give and take. And I actually am, you know, this is not a bad card, but I'm not fond of it because inherently in society, for the most part, men and women are not statistically earning the same amount of money. Typically, one person makes a lot more than the other does. So when I get equal give and take, and it's involving coins, I always think it's a bit of a ruse because at the end of the day, if you love someone, what they earn should not come into play. But there is this sort of like, well, I'm always tired of giving to everybody. I want somebody to give to me. But I'm not seeing them in a situation where that's the case, okay? So it is kind of this weird selfishness. And I'm, I'd like to be wrong about that. Tell me if I'm wrong all day long. I would love to be wrong about that. The Tower card really speaks to the fact that they really think that they have messed up so badly in the near future that, that there's going to be a tower moment with you that you may not take them back. That at the end of the day, there's been too much drama, too much trauma, and that is how they feel. They get themselves into a lot of trouble in this other connection. And the bottom line is, is that they start desiring you. Your person has a tower moment. Ten of Cups. <laughs> how they see the situation with you. What's possible is happily ever after. Really being joyful, jumping for joy, wanting their happiness, wanting it with you. Okay. Their biggest fear is that you're going to say no. Okay, that simple. If we have too many more lunar cycles, you probably will say no. The dream catcher, okay. So the dream catcher is that your person really, you're starting to appear in their dreams quite literally. They do see you as their dream wish. The wish fulfillment is a dream that gets caught in the dream catcher. So there is this idea that they need to catch you. So I would say to you, I would be a little bit aloof with this person, even if they call you, even if you've been in no contact, don't answer them right away. Play a little bit of, play it very cool, and that's not a game, but be very cool with this person. Make them catch you. Make them catch up to you. 
make them produce something that is worthy of their of you forgiving them for putting you in a no contact situation you should be elusive like a dream you know you are their dream lover so that is what i have in terms of the no contact you know what's going on the why the how what's going to happen they are coming back they're fearful they don't want to lose you but they have entertained themselves at least socially elsewhere i never would presume that a third party situation necessarily has to be a full physical relationship but it clearly can be so let's take a look and see what the moonology deck says for you okay Emotions are running high, the supermoon. All right, so they're very emotional at this time. Conclusions are within reach, okay. So it's gonna come to conclusion pretty quickly here. Hold your vision, okay, hold firm, hold the line. You know, hold on to the love, but also what you need to have the love manifested properly. So I do feel it's very optimistic. I do like the fact that your person feels guilty. It is appropriate to the situation. They clearly love you. They want to heal the relationship. They're fearful you'll say no. Their happiness is with you. So there's a little bit of a, there's a little lesson that they've learned in this process. So that is what I have for your Monday reading. Sending you love, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.